What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in this week's advanced Revit course that I'm doing on my Patreon, I'm going to be covering the topic of cost calculation. And in this video, I'm going to be going over all of the tools and features that Revit has to offer uh, for uh, cost calculation or cost estimation. And I'm just going to be showing you what I cover within this course. So this is a course that's going to be on my Patreon that's uploaded to my Patreon. So that's the first link in the description. You can get all of my advanced courses. This is the 18th uh, course so far. They are usually around one hour long. Also, uh, you can find all of the project files uh, that uh, or all of my Revit project files that I've created so far over there. So that's over 300 files so far. OK, so the, the course is the most important <laughs> topic, and that's money and Revit. And how can you use Revit to calculate your building cost? Now, keep in mind that Revit isn't really a tool for uh, something a specific topic like this but on smaller buildings you can actually use all of the Revit tools to get some basic cost estimation. So here I'm going to be using the uh, project that I've already created so if I go over here and open that project up so this is the project that I've also created uh, in these courses so if you want to check that out that's also on my patreon so we're basically taking this house and then we're uh, I'm going to be showing you how to do cost estimation for this house so I start off by talking about assemblies one of the tools that you can use so assemblies basically here uh, in my project browser you can see here we have assemblies and in this case it's going to be assembly for the kitchen so we basically uh, group our kitchen as a assembly, we categorized it, and then we've also created a uh, assembly sheet where you can actually give this to some manufacturer that, that does custom kitchens, and then they can quote you a price, and then you go back over here, select the assembly, and then here we have that price inserted. Uh, also, you can then schedule of the assemblies. Uh, currently, we have assembly for the kitchen as well as the bathroom. So all of those elements that you can group together as certain spaces and get quotes, you can then later put in an assembly schedule. And here we have the total price for those elements for this building. Also, I talk about two approaches to calculating the cost of the building, in this case, walls. So for walls, I show you the wall schedule as well as the wall material takeoffs schedule. So for the wall schedule, you're basically using the price for constructing the square uh, area or, or for the uh, constructing an area of a certain wall. And for material takeoffs, you're actually dividing walls in all of your materials. So here for this uh, exterior wall, I have gypsum wall board, masonry units, as well as poly polyurethane foam. And then we assign a cost for each of those materials. And then Revit does the rest of the work and we get all of the calculations. Also, if, if this schedule looks kind of nice, that's because I show you how to fix up your schedules, how to set them up. So this isn't only cost, uh, cost calculation in Revit, but also some tips and tricks on schedules in Revit. Also, I'm going to be covering uh, this uh, building over here. So let me show you that. That's this 3D over here. So that's this building and it's just an in-place mass. But here we have a schedule that we've created uh, and it's customized to basically you can add the cost per square meter. And then here we have the floor areas. And basically you can select this mass and you can play around with the building design. And here within the schedule, you're going to get the final price of the building. So you can actually make informed uh, design decisions uh, using this schedule. And it's extremely parametric. So here, just changing dimensions here, the schedule changes and here we have the final price. So if the client says maybe go to 1.5 million, I can maybe make this smaller. Uh, make it smaller over here and there we go we're getting closer to 1.5 million okay so there we go that's uh, another option that they show you how to set up and uh, do in Revit. Okay, so that covers this week's advanced course. Again, as I said, if you want to check that out, check out my Patreon first link in the description. And I'll be coming back with another regular Balkan architect tutorial in a couple of days. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.